For your elimination challenge, you'll put on your own brunch. But we're not looking for breakfast or lunch options. We're looking for you to make your own mashup dishes that fuse both breakfast and lunch together. To me, brunch is the chance for you guys to be creative. It's very important to have a dish that people will remember. Shelly, what are you making? Making some dim sum. Nice. Dominique challenged us to create this hybrid of breakfast and lunch. So dim sum is kind of a breakfast and lunch item for Chinese culture. So I'm doing my twist of dim sum that's very uh, American flavor. And we all feel the pressure that we have to do something super, super creative. My creative uh, take on brunch is Mary dim sum a hamburger. The pasticker is something that I've been doing since I was four or five under my mom's guidance. And then adding sort of an all American uh, cheeseburger into the filling, uh, I think is pretty whimsical. This is very westernized. She's gonna go, whoa, you put cheese? In dumpling, that's no no. That would be my mommy. Uh, knowing that I have to literally make dumpling to order, uh, it's pretty risky. I have to make the dough, roll out the dough, and then make all the wrappers, make the filling, put the filling them in, and then wrapping them. So it's a lot of work. So this is Shirley's dish. I love dip sum for brown Me too. Hi, Shirley. Hi. Tell us what you made. When you think about breakfast and brunch for Chinese, I automatically think about dim sum. So I really want to make a dim sum item, but sort of incorporate American lunch, which is a cheeseburger. Sure, the dish is as advertised. It's dim sum and the hamburger all, all combined. Instead of giving us ketchup, you gave us a tomato relish. That was kind of really nice. And so, yeah, it all, it all ties in nicely. I, I did find the beef inside to be dry. Me too. I love the cheesiness of the dumpling. It's very unusual to have cheese inside a dumpling. It makes it very special. Thank you. And I especially like that there was actually some crispiness from the cheese that crusted and, and stuck on the bottom. That's always the best part. I agree. I think it's really nice. Thank you. There were a couple of dishes that worked today. And those dishes came from Sheldon and Shirley. How did you find this challenge, Shirley? I wish I would have had time to sort of test cook one batch, but yeah. I thought the beef really did taste like a hamburger patty, and it really worked. It was really juicy. It was very nice that you made your own dough to, for the postikers. I know it's very challenging, and I really enjoyed it. Thank you, Chef. As our guest judge, who won the brunch challenge? So the chef that had the best dish tonight and came very close to what we're looking for is. Shelly. Me. <laughs> Thank you. This when I came so hard. I don't even know if I would have survived yesterday. But ultimately I did. And then today coming back to take this big win, it feels extremely good. Thank you.